Hey, welcome back. Uh, just a quick video on how to use the 727 Freeware Autopilot for Flight Simulator X. Um, first of all, we are in the air, as you can see. If you shift 3 on your uh, in the 2D panel part, shift 3 brings up... Oh, God. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> Sorry. Shift 3 brings up your Autopilot panel, as you can see. So now we have it brought up. Um, first, I think we can go over turning. So if you, first of all, autopilot master switches, you can engage it, as you can see. So now that it is engaged, you know that it's engaged because there is a tab here on your primary, I mean not primary flight display, but rather your artificial horizon that now shows that with the flight director tab. You can toggle this flight director off and on using the flight director switch on the right hand side of this panel, as you can see. I'll keep it on. So let's see here, what do I want to go for now? Let's go over turning first. Um, so you can see we have this knob here, or at least it looks like a knob, but instead you sort of just click on it. So if you click on the very left side of it, you can see on our heading indicator just below our artificial horizon, it moves. That ye those yellow equal sign looking things, the yellow tabs, they move and that is actually what your autopilot is going to be set to. That is the heading that's going to track. Now to enable that, all you're going to do is come over here to the right side and click the heading hold switch, or heading select switch rather, and toggle that to on. Then as you can see, autopilot starts turning towards whatever, wherever you have that indicator set. Alternatively, you can actually also come down to here, and you can adjust that also. Oops, sorry. So you can adjust this knob and it does the same thing in fact it's even a little bit quicker and more convenient because you can use your scroll wheel to do that so same thing goes for turning right obviously you just click on the right side of the switch so that is going to cover turning here on the left side you can see we have this mode selector so right now we're on manual you can see there's also localizer auto glide slope, manual glide slope, I'll go over that a bit later. So now onto the altitude side of things. Now I actually have not found a way to make it hold an altitude, I mean not hold, but rather to track an altitude as in it'll climb to an altitude and automatically stop uh, or descend. Um, so that's kind of interesting. I do not know if that's a thing with the 727 at all. So it may not actually exist. I did a bit of Googling. I could not find anything regarding this. So you might want to do a little bit of your own research on that, but sorry about that. I don't know about that. However, I do know that you do have vertical speed control or a very rudimentary version, kind of very a rough version, I guess. It's more of just nose up or nose down. So you can see if we click on the front end of the same switch we use to turn. So for the turning, we use the left and right ends. Now if we click on the front end, our nose, you can see, if you look at the heading indicator, our nose begins to pitch down. And of course, the more you click, the more you're going to pitch down. So now we've entered a descent, a pretty rapid one, we should probably pull out of that. So to pull out of it, then just click the pitch up. Pitch up is just the back of the switch, so the opposite of pitch down. And then I found it'll, it'll maintain the vertical speed decently well if you just don't touch the switch. If you find a place you like it and then just don't touch it, it'll just keep climbing or keep descending. However, what about once you've reached, reached the right altitude? So let's say we want to climb just a little bit more and then we're going to level off. So let's see. We're currently, how high are we? We're at like what? Oh gosh, I haven't read these in forever. Is that 22,000, I think? Something like that. I haven't read these gauges in forever. I think we're at 22,000. Let's check. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. So, let's say we want to level off now. You can see you can actually turn on the altitude hold switch. So just to clarify that the climbing descending with pitch, you cannot do that with the altitude hold switch on. But now you turn on the altitude hold switch and the plane begins to level off. 
and it'll just maintain your altitude I believe now for some reason it likes to overcorrect so it as you can see the nose went down way too much and it started descending and now the nose went up way too much so it started climbing it kind of does this weird back and forth thing um I don't really know why that is it's like a roller coaster pattern but I found that it it does get better and better as you can see the deflections are less extreme and eventually it does level out so now you can see we have basically settled at zero so it will hold your altitude pretty well once it gets itself sorted out of course if you want to descend from cruising for landing you can turn off altitude hold and use this the big switch over here again like we did before um let's see what else to go over Okay, well here's the not really part of the autopilot but it's part of the same panel your rudder trim just returning i guess um we should probably go over our speed so if i recall correctly i think you said you already had the speed figured out that i might as well go over anyways because it's pretty simple so in case you didn't know here auto throttle i have it on it's normally here default is off uh, if you click it, it'll just go to Captain Engage, which is good enough for us. So, you use this speed bug to determine your autopilot speed, and you use this knob here. As you can see. And it'll increase and decrease engine power accordingly, and it will over th override your manual throttle, and you will not be able to use the throttle until you disengage it. So right now I'm just descending to get near an airport so I can show you the auto, I mean the auto land, but rather the glide slope system. However, uh, I thought this would be a good time to just show you in the virtual cockpit. You can see, just down here below the throttles. That is where your autopilot controls will be, in the virtual cockpit. So right now we're just heading towards the airport, but while we do that, it's a very good time to dial in our iOS frequency. I already have it set here on both nav radios of 111.7 and then our runway course can be set here with this knob so I have it on 290 so we have everything ready for the ILS oh sorry about that I'm just gonna check the map I don't know if you can I don't think you can see this okay so we're still quite a while away so I'll be back once we're ready to intercept that glide slope Alrighty, we're all set up for a nice landing. I have actually never tried this on the 727, an iOS landing that is, so let's see what happens when we engage our autopilot. You can see we have our mode knob from manual, which is what it used to be in, onto autopilot, or rather auto glide slope. So let's just see what happens. Okay, we have our autopilot engaged, attitude hold and heading select are both off, and nothing has happened. Perhaps we're not quite close enough. 20, I guess we will see. I am descending way too much. Okay. Could use a bit of a turn, actually. Hopefully this works, because if it doesn't, I am going to have to redo this, and that will not be fun. We can actually put on a little bit more speed, it feels sluggish. We are descending, which is not good. Let me just check the map again real quick. Alright, we're getting close. Hopefully I have not majorly screwed something up. Nose is so high. I'm gonna take off the notch flaps.
we're at 4,000, that should not be too high. Uh, I guess we can descend a little bit. 4,000 is barometric. Or we're actually only at like 2,500 in the radio altimeter. Okay. 2, that concerns me. The below glide slope just disappeared. Should be coming. You can see the runway lights there. The path precision approach lights there. And hopefully it captures. Maybe it can slow down. Don't know why it's not working. Something work. Maybe not. Yeah. I think it's just not gonna work for me. Am I missing something? Okay, well, I'm just gonna try to land. Wait, hold on, hold on. Here we go, here we go. It's turning, it's turning. This is not me, by the way. You would be able to hear it if I had. I was moving the joystick. We are about to crash, that's a problem. Okay, so it's taken over... Okay, it's taken over directional control. It does not have elevator control, however. So I am doing the elevator. But it is doing the turn on its own, which is very good. Good sign. It does seem to be doing that overcompensation thing again, where it's like... 1,000. Turning way too much. And yeah, okay. This is a bit messed up. Can't even see the damn runway. I'm just gonna put all of our flaps down. I'm not bothered about this. Let's get our speed down to... Oh gosh, I don't know what the... 1,000. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. So yeah, it does not don't seem don't sink. to have elevator control. Don't sink. Don't sink. I don't know if that's don't sink. Don't sink. To happen. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. But it is turning don't on its own. Don't sink. It's don't just sink. don't sink. Taken like five turns don't and it's still don't not sink. lined up. Which don't sink. Is a don't minor sink. Problem. Oh, don't and we're don't like sink. getting a don't sink warning, which don't is also don't a sink. Problem. I'm actually don't gonna don't take sink. it off auto throttle because it's not don't sink. Five hundred. We are also way too fast, but that is fine. It's not like that's a recipe for disaster or anything. Okay, Approaching so it minimums. did not properly align us. You can see, I'm disengaging. Minimums. So, it did not really end up aligning us that good at all. We are coming, still coming at an angle. One hundred. Yeah, I don't think I even have time to correct. Fifty. Forty. This is going to be a really bad landing. Twenty. Ten. Yeah, okay. So, you can see, I didn't even have time to correct for the misalignment. Perhaps if we came at it from farther away, we came at it at like a 30 degree angle, which should be fine for any other plane. So yeah, the, the glide slope could use a bit of tweaking, or rather the uh, localizer feature. As you can see, it didn't work too well there, because I had to do manual landing and it actually got us so far off that I did not have time to correct for it. So we landed off the runway there. But that's just going to wrap up how you use the autopilot. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. If I missed anything, then feel free to tell me down below or private message me. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope I answered your question.